temperature did. Well, it's a lovely day in Prospect. Dry, fine, some good spells of sunshine coming through and blue skies for most places. Uh, 20 Celsius could be our top temperature today. That's 68 Fahrenheit. Certainly for inland areas, might see one or two places reach that. Uh, along the coast, a little bit cooler with an onshore breeze. Tonight, plenty of late sunshine through this evening and then a dry night to come with light winds and clear spells. The chance of a few isolated fog patches and overnight lows dropping to around 2 Celsius. On to tomorrow then and another warm day in prospect. Sunshine becoming hazy as the high cloud spreads in through the day and we could see uh, a high of 21 Celsius tomorrow. That's 70 Fahrenheit. Yes, 70 Fahrenheit for April. A southeasterly breeze though keeping exposed coasts a little bit cooler. And then looking ahead from Saturday to Monday, of course it all breaks down for the weekend. Uh, a rather cloudy morning on Saturday, some light rain possible but it will become drier and brighter later feeling a little bit fresher too. And then Sunday starts bright but cloud and some rain arise perhaps through the afternoon. Uh, for Monday though, a sunny, dry and warm picture. Obviously we've all gone back to work. Out on the waters today winds are east 3 or 4, visibility is moderate or good, occasionally very poor in east and the sea state is smooth or slight. And finally the current pressure in Bournemouth is 1,028 millibars that's 30.36 inches and steady. Okay, so that's the weather closer to home, but uh, whilst the cool school is on Easter holiday, we've got our global friends doing global weather. And today we say hello to Mia Atwood in Thailand. Hello, Mia. Hi. Hi, Julian. How Lovely are you? Lovely to speak to you. I'm fine. Your weather sounds fantastic. 20 degrees. Wow, I'd swap you. <laughs> really? Oh, don't say it's not very nice over there. No, it's very, very hot. Really hot. I'll tell you later how hot it is. Okay. But no, Mia, it's hot and your, your weather sounds wonderful. Mia, before we do the weather then, tell us a bit about you and why you are in Thailand. Well, we used to own the Amarillo Hotel in Bournemouth and um, we retired from there. Moved over to Thailand for a nice, quiet, peaceful life with lovely people. It's, it's lovely. Really, really nice. Any regrets? No, none whatsoever. We come back often, though. Um, we, you know, spring between the two places. Um, Paul and Bournemouth will always be home. But, um, you know, right now we're living in Thailand, but we should be back in a couple of weeks' time for, you know, a few weeks' holiday and to catch up with family and friends. And Mia, have you uh, learnt the ways of the Thai people? Have you? Are you a Thai cook? Oh, um, I don't know so much about a Thai cook, but I've certainly um, adapted some of the ways of the Thai people. Um, their celebrations that they have here are second to none. Next week we have the Thai New Year. Um, it starts off on Monday. It can go on for up to three days. And they have water celebrations. Um, if I can just tell you, the people drive around the island in open back 4x4 trucks with large water containers, um, say like a 50-gallon drum. <laughs> water is thrown absolutely everywhere. <laughs> Everybody gets wet. Um, it's fantastic. I, I mean, it would never certainly not happen in Paul and Bournemouth, but I can tell you it's great fun. People are standing on the side of the road armed with water pistols. Um, then the trucks will stop, people will jump out and pat talcum powder all over your face. <laughs> it's um, seen, as, seen as good luck. Those that don't participate don't have so much luck during the next year. So we oh, all are. join in. It really is a fun time. I learned something about the Thai New Year this morning. That is great, Mia. So uh, make sure you get wet next week. And, of course, the weather and our weather update from you now will probably explain all that. So can you give us your uh, temperature reading and uh, your weather word of the day? Right, OK. Well, it's 38 degrees, which is equivalent... Well, 38 centigrade equivalent to obviously 100 Fahrenheit. Too hot. Sunny with, a few, yeah, sunny with a few clouds and a light breeze, making it very similar to standing in front of a fan heater on a maximum temperature. <laughs> <laughs> Do you want to swap? <laughs> yes, please! No, I think I'm, I like 22 degrees in sunshine. But look, Mia, that's a great uh, weather update from Thailand. Uh, just for people who will, will ask, where exactly are you in Thailand? I'm living on Koh Samui, which is in the Gulf of Thailand. Lovely. Well, look, thank you for being on the show this morning. Thank you for being our global friend, and we'll talk again soon. 
thank you. Can I quickly say hello to my brother, Julian? Yes, please do. I What's his name? I know you'll be listening it's into Julian. your programme. Oh, it's Julian. <laughs> Julian. Yeah, not me, but another yeah. Julian. Right, so good Another morning, Julian, yeah. yeah. Okay, you've I done it. I know he'll be listening in avidly. Fantastic. Thank you, Mia. Bye. And, uh, thank you. Lovely talking to you. Lovely to talk Enjoy to you. Enjoy the sunshine. We will. Find more local forecasts online. bbc.co.uk slash solids. So, still to come.